so good morning welcome to my channel I went and picked up some rotors and drum yesterday and some miscellaneous parts from a local auto parts Napa here in town I also went and picked up this load of tin this tin is stacked really well so doesn't look like a whole lot but that's a lot of weight um, I don't know how much really but I don't know I'm guessing last load I got was 3,000 pounds um, not really sure on this this is full length pieces and I think the last load was half length stacks so this should weigh about the same um, got some giant brake shoes big brake shoes for that giant drum this drum weighs I don't know what this thing weighs 100 100 pounds 125 pounds maybe it's a foot wide it's a, over a foot across diameter wise um, so yeah quite a bit of weight right here 253 probably 300 pounds worth of rotors uh, and drum and miscellaneous parts in this bucket so I think I'm gonna start my rotor stash uh, like I had planned on it um, I've been kind of just letting them go but uh, this is a pretty good quantity all at once and if I start building from here I should be able to stack up quite a few of them by by next year as long as they don't get to the point where I need the space so I'm going to unload about I don't know six or seven pieces of this real wide full width three foot uh, ten that's fairly new stuff and my building needs a roof on it and there's more of that I've got to go get another load which is probably a little more than what's on the trailer now uh, next week so and there'll be some more of that wide in there so I'm just gonna set it off on the ground over here in the garden area where the grass needs to be killed off and uh, try to get to the point where I can hire somebody to come and nail it to the roof of that building I can't climb my balance is terrible since I've had my other big toe cut off um, but yeah, so I'm gonna unload a few pieces of tin, restrap it, unload these rotors, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and carry that off and get it off my trailer. Um, to uh, make room for another load that I need to go pick up this next week. been struggling with keeping tires aired up feels like it's still got air in it I put slime in it and it seemed to seal up all the nail holes that I got plugged they were slowly leaking down slime is some pretty good stuff definitely good stuff um all right well i'm gonna get this unloaded and i'll check back in nothing exciting about unloading tin well i'm at the yard
they're selling they're selling aluminum they've sold a lot of steel boy I'd like to cut some of them windings out of them motors that'd be awesome now let's go get one he's loading aluminum right now so he'll be a while
how's the weighed in at uh, 2,600 pounds. Scrap has dropped to five cents a pound down here. That's the lowest I've ever seen it. So that was $130 uh, for that load. Uh, I really wish scrap would take a turnaround for everybody. This is hurting a lot of people. I feel blessed to get what I get, but I know there's a lot of folks out there that's not getting that much. And uh, I hate that. I feel for everybody. We can hope and pray it comes back up where these folks that depend on it for extra income will have extra income during the holidays. Good morning. Welcome to my channel. I'm Scrapper D. Y'all missed this. Um, I went back to that property cleanup that I was working on uh, and I forgot my camera. Remembered it when I got there and I was an hour away. So, needless to say, I didn't film picking it up. I just unloaded this stuff off my big trailer. Uh, just miscellaneous car parts and a lot more parts and skibble scabble as florida scrapper says um i got these lightweight real lightweight trusses um up there i got a couple wheelbarrows bicycles just miscellaneous metal a bunch of copper and aluminum in the back of my truck and in the middle there, I think is a Ford 289, probably in the 60s range, uh, V8. Pretty sure it's a 289. I don't know a whole lot about Fords, but I think I'm gonna take a minute and pull the intake and heads off. And you know, if that block and stuff is good and the heads are good and can be rebuilt, people will buy them to go in their Mustangs but uh <clears throat> i am going to go and pick up finish picking up at another cleanup that i was doing <clears throat> a few weeks ago where i got that giant camper topper full of cast aluminum and heavy aluminum i uh, got some batteries and all sorts of the wire that's where i got uh that truck a truckload of wire truck bed full of wire at that cleanup too <clears throat> some of that was the 130 pounds i hauled off the other day but <clears throat> it's cooled off dramatically also i picked up the, all those rotors i think y'all will see that in another video but uh <clears throat> and i got that dishwasher and i've got a mess i am going to work on cleaning and sorting and stacking neatly and getting red up there is that giant pile of stuff that i got at the same property i've been going through it throwing the steel away or taking the steel off and then throwing stuff away that's not any good and keeping tools and miscellaneous stuff that i'd like to have <clears throat> out of that pile a lot of that stuff's really old stuff um there's another lawnmower up there that I got yesterday. But uh, there's still stuff left scattered all through the woods at that guy's property. I did not feel good yesterday, and I just could not uh, do it. Uh, just hadn't been feeling good here lately. It's getting winter time or close to fall time. <laughs> and I hope I can avoid getting sick again uh, like I did last year and the year before but uh, we're just going to hope and pray that don't happen I've got a mess and it's got to get cleaned up I don't want it to be an eyesore it's the reason I kind of have it behind these buildings um, <clears throat> I got me enough tin out of that big tin load that y'all should see before this video uh, to roof my wood shop 
and I'm going to get a, another load next week, a full trailer of 10. Uh, that ended up being 2,600 pounds what I hauled off. I'll probably have 3,500 <clears throat> next week, uh, I think. Uh, I think there's a little more than what I got the other day left. Um, <clears throat> I've got to go to the landfill and throw some stuff away but my primary goal today is to go start picking up aluminum cans uh, from that giant mound of aluminum cans at that house <clears throat> and um, I don't have a big scoop I need a scoop and I may end up stopping and buying one just because that <clears throat> I, it's just gonna make my life <clears throat> a ton easier uh, and I'm all about making it easier wish I could run up on a snow shovel <laughs> we don't have those down here I suppose you could buy one at a uh, <clears throat> Home Depot or something but uh, We don't really have those here. I've got a special project for this piece of rebar. I'm going to make me a tow hook so I can hook up to heavy things easier than trying to get that winch cable hook around stuff and hooked on kind of like what wreckers use to hook on the car axles and things like that make life a lot simpler <laughs> make life a whole lot simpler I'm still picking up copper and nuggets like that <clears throat> but I've got to get out here and get this mess sorted got two big giant air units I got to tear down and I got more ACRs that I've got to cut the ends off and clean them up. Trash just got to go to the landfill. <clears throat> Trash just got to be burnt here that I can burn and keep out of the landfill. So, yeah. Oh man, my battery box is broke loose. That ain't good. Tank good at all, folks. I better resolve that situation or that could turn into a mess. Sure enough, <clears throat> I may have to have a longer strap than that. Anyway, I wanted to update you on what's going on here at the homestead I'm gonna get the barrels loaded up make sure none of this stuff's gonna fly off and head over to that property I'll talk at you later I'm back at this uh, big aluminum copper and stuff clean up I've got most all of the copper and aluminum and stuff but I'm still running into rolls of wire like that lots of wire to pick up still that's good stuff right there So, got me a scoop. Just gonna scoop the cans up. In the bags and uh,
that might be a usable bag. stuff that I'll take. Scoop makes all the difference in the world on these cans. I thought that was a snake for a minute. Leaves are starting to fall. End up with a mess in a hurry with these leaves. Scoop.
All right, I'll check back later. So I've got, I think, 13 or 14 55 gallon trash bags of cans out of this pile that was right there. You can see I about got it knocked out. They're full and heavy. Not real heavy, but heavy for cans. Job well done. I still got some more I've got to get back in behind that siding and some more buried under the leaves, but I'm pretty much pretty much right at finished with the cans. So it's been a job. I'm glad I bought that big scoop. We can use it in our garden this next year, so I look at it like it's a tool we'll need to spray of mulch. So anyway, I ended up getting a quite a bit more wire, uh, a little bit of aluminum. Uh, I would cast uh, aluminum grill. A little bit of pipe. So, let me get back at it.